I'm Ant-Man, and I saw Ant-Man. It is directed by Peyton Reed, and it stars Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly. This movie starts, you get this guy who's invented this technology, the technology is to make these people shrink. Shrinking technology with a suit. However, this technology is not to be discovered or shared with anyone. Hey, guy guy who's supposed to be responsible for not sharing the secret out you to not tell anyone about this as long as I live all right then we get a flash forward to that same guy is creating a suit and that's no bueno but we'll get into that a little bit later first you meet our main character main character you just got out of jail for battery robbery he wants it to be just a burgle charge but it's technically a robbery and he just doesn't feel like that he doesn't feel like he identifies with that charge so what he does instead is he gets a job at dairy queen no baskin robbins superior to dairy queen he gets a job at dairy queen so he gets a job at baskin robbins even though he has like a master's in engineering or electronics or whatever. Oh man, I just love how this information is set up. You first see, he's talking about, oh I, oh, I could work outside of jail. I have a master's. And then next scene, boom, he's at a Baskin Robbins dealing with an idiot customer. He's like, hey, do you have any hot foods? And it's like, bro, this is an ice cream shop. What are you, what are you talking about? Why? Why do you want this so much? Why do you- If you want hot food, go to Pizza Place, not Baskin Robbins. Anyway, he gets fired because of this criminal record. And he's like, I don't like heists at all. I don't want to deal with heists no more. I'm a good one. I have a daughter, and we get to see his daughter. And his daughter is kind of gatekeeped by, I assume, his ex. He gives the daughter, like, a questionable present. It's a scary doll, a scary bunny doll, but she loves it, so who am I to judge? But the mother's like, hey, you're not allowed to be here. You gotta go. So he leaves. And on the way, he meets up with his buddies, which presumably were also in prison with him. And they want to have this big old heist. Into this heist they go, and I love the scene. I just love the brilliance of the main character, oh, whatever his name is, Ant-Man guy, the Ant-Man, he breaks into this really cool safe that has steel as old as the Titanic. And I'm like, okay, if it's as old as the Titanic, how could it be very stable? How could it be a very good safe door? The Titanic famously crashed, okay? That's not a good uh, perimeter perimeter barometer it's not a good gauge for how strong a metal is if it's been used on the titanic so lo and behold the ant-man actually does break into the safe even though it's supposed to be very strong which i doubt but still he does it with coldness boom there's a suit inside why there's no money but he takes the suit anyway and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, things in a motorcycle suit? He's gonna take a motorcycle suit. What is he gonna do? Steal a motorcycle? What are you gonna do with that suit, Ant-Man guy? However, he does discover some powers that he possesses with the suit. He's in the bathtub and he wears the suit. He's like, ah, what do these buttons do? He clicks the right button, does nothing. And I'm like, oh, that must be the button that grows him. And then he presses the left button and it shrinks him. And now he's in a maze full of uh, bigness. Everything is too big around him. And everyone's trying to stomp on him. Everyone's trying to flood him out. Everyone's just like, hey, Ant-Man, we don't see you, which is why you're being trampled over. So. I also love the visuals, uh, especially when he falls through the pipe down to the beneath floors from which he was standing in the bathtub. And he's on this 
record. And I like the scene where he's hanging on to the record. I'm like, ah, oh, that looks beautiful. Specifically, I thought a whole party was just a vibe. And I'm like, I wouldn't be at that party. Ant-Man, you lucky. You should have invited me, okay? You having fun? I would have had some fun too. But also, he's like, no more of this. No more of the suit. He gets big on top of this car. And I'm like, oh, how did no one see you? Obviously a guy who was in the car noticed. He's like, what is going on? What? Why is there thudding? He's like, no more suit. So he decides to just return the suit. And he gets caught by the cops. He's like, wait, 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 no, I wasn't stealing anything. I was just returning something I stole. Which gets you in trouble with the cops as well. And I'm just like, aw, oh, big brain, good job, guy. And I'm like, ah, oh, big brain, good job, guy. Good job getting yourself in prison, I mean in jail, right after you got out of prison. That's a good first step in getting back with your daughter. However, this was all planned by this guy. The guy who made the suit previously. He's like... I actually wanted you to steal the suit, and I manipulated you using all of these little red strings. I saw a red string, gave that point of money, and then that kind of maneuvered its way to influence you. So, you know, I'm very good at social engineering and pulling red strings to get out what I want. And he's like, okay, well, I might as well help this guy. So, the guy wants him to break and enter. Right after he says, I don't want to break and enter anymore. What can I do for you? Perfect scene, perfect. This movie has a lot of those where the character says one line and then another character is like, oh, you gotta do this line that you don't wanna do, okay? And I'm just like, nice, I like it. So here's the plan. They gotta burgle this suit this yellow jacket suit, and they need help. So who is to help other than Ant-Man's friends from prison that we previously saw? So well, they're here, and they're very curious. And obviously the guy that employed Ant-Man's like, eh, I don't really like these guys. Eh, they're kind of sketch, eh, whatever. As long as it helps me. So now they're on this mission to get the suit and it's this is where the heist begins oh man i love uh whoever's supposed to be the guard character in this heist because each time someone approaches him he's just like i'm supposed to be here all right and they're like are you sure and then bam punch it's punched and then they go unconscious and i'm like ah oh, you really know how to punch, and I love it. Also, speaking of punching, before I forget, I also like the training sequence with the chick versus Ant-Man, because Ant-Man, at the beginning, he's established enough to know how to fight, he's in prison, he's in a fight, and barely hurts the guy, the guy who's in fighting with, to the point where they're just like hugging it out, they're like, we're all good, we all good, but then, yeah, his, this training sequence you get to see from Ant-Man's butt being handed to him to him being cocky and being like haha I punched you and then immediately being punched to now he's a good fighter and I love that montage woohoo Ant-Man is now ready to be part of this heist and it's great he has to go through this water system in order to get into this security system efficiently because they put sensors on the vents. They were waiting for him. Oh man, speaking of waiting for him, I forgot the best part. He fights the Falcon. This was before the heist, but he fights Falcon by getting into his suit. And it's pretty great. He dissembles. He messes with the circuitry. You don't want to mess with the wire wires or the circuitry at all. Because that would just destroy his suit, and it kind of did. It seems that he does fix it later on, but, you know, the Falcon's like, I don't, I don't want anyone to know about this loss that I took from this ant guy, because that would be bad. No, no loss here. No way, Jose. 
Anyway, so yeah, they're at this heist. There's this guy. He's in the suit. He's in the suit that they're trying to steal. And how does he get the suit? By trapping Ant-Man, of course, putting him in like a small container. It's like, oh, you're stuck in this tiny prism forever. And I'm immediately thinking like, wait, hold on. What about the button on his right? Right hand. Press it. Boom. Glass breaks. Then he can escape. And pretty much while the villain was monologuing, I was like, why didn't you do- why aren't you escaping? But you gotta let the villain monologue in order to do good and actually know what you're fighting against. And then you can escape. You got to let the villain's guard down. But one of the guys, one of the villain guys, gets himself into the suit. The, the wasp suit. And the wasp suit is actually really cool. Oh man, I love the visors, I love the many legs. You just use so many things for the many legs. And especially the battle when they're at uh, his daughter's house or whatever and they're kind of fighting very tiny in her carpet box full of toys or whatever. And there's also like a train which I find funny and cute. They're like riding along this train, they're in the carpet, they're having this cool fight that only a child would imagine would happen and any child would want to see that. They don't know what's going on. They're just like, hey, this is cool. But hey, actually, Ant-Man has to go and defeat this guy unconventionally. He tries to get, to get into a suit. The suit's made of titanium, so he can't pry into it. So he has to go through the molecules and get very small in order to defeat this guy. But then he keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller. To the point where he gets to the virus level, I'm like, oh, creepy viruses to the uh, subatomic atomic molecule level. And I'm like, hey, this looks cool. And then he gets even smaller and smaller, past atoms to even smaller than atoms. And I'm just thinking, I know there's like something smaller than atoms that starts with the cube, but like, is there anything smaller than that? How small can we go? What is the smallest thing in the universe? And it seems that Ant-Man has seen it. He goes into this kaleidoscope kind of thing. Rooney's like really tiny. And I'm like, wow. This is trippy. And it's just, how did Ant-Man not remember any of this? Because when he emerges out, because he realizes, oh, I have this growth thing that was given to uh, earlier. I'm going to put it in my belt and I'm going to press it and then go big. And when he goes big, I'm like, ah, cool. So you figured out a way to get out. So that's good. And then he stops getting big. And I'm like, why did you stop? You didn't stop getting smaller when you went small. Uh, you should have been big. You should have been huge. You should have de devoured the entire house with your body, but you didn't. And I'm like, okay, well, I don't, I don't get the realism. I don't see how realistic that could be, but it's whatever. It's, it's this is a movie about a guy who t turns into an ant. Okay, he can command ants with his brain. This is not like a very realistic movie, and. I still enjoyed it. So now Ant-Man is big again and now he's allowed to see his daughters and that's very touching. I'm like, aw, I love it. He has a job, he works for these guys in order to get super small and heist a bunch of things. He's just using his natural talents as a heister in order to get a job that his daughter would actually not look twice at, and that's pretty cool, and I like that ending of that movie. It's it's always fun dialogue, but I don't really like the pacing of the first act. The first act seems a little bit slow for me. I know it's to establish, like, all of these things that's happening in this world in order for the battle to take place, but it's still a little bit slow. It's not until maybe 20-30 minutes into the film when Ant-Man gets the suit and turns small, but eh, 
At least it's not like an hour. So that's good. The pacing's pretty good. I like the characters. I like how they're not like super good. They're criminals. They're just out of jail. And this they're completing a heist. And I would give this film probably a 7 out of 10. And if you liked that content, I have more content on our Patreon at patreon.com slash Presents. Right now I'm doing some mint salad saws early on there before they show up on the channel, at least the day before they show up on the channel. So stay tuned for that, but also $3 a month, you get some daily vlogs, which will return on Sunday or tomorrow, whenever this comes out. And for a $20 tier, you can request me to review a movie, right for you, just for you. And also, if you want me to do a line art, also that same tier. So, so go check it out at patreon.com slash Presents. Until next time, I'm in Salad Saw. I'll see you later, my salad croutons and bacon bits.